Hello, Amber. What are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Buzz. Look, I'm painting. Hey, I've got a painting for you too. Wow, that's a beautiful painting, Buzz. Hmm, but it looks a bit different. Yes, Amber. That's because it's made using. The blot painting method. What's that, Buzz? Can you teach me? Sure, Amber. You will need a drawing sheet and some watercolors. I am ready. Good. First, we need to fold the sheet into half so that we get the center line. Now, open it. Can you see the faint line in the middle? This line divides this page into two equal parts. Now, let's put few drops of color on the page randomly. Then, we fold the page back again and press it down. Now, open the page, Amber. Wow! That looks good. Oh yes. The paint has spread over to form a pattern. Similarly, to draw a butterfly, paint half of the butterfly on one side of the fold and fold the page. Press it down and open it. You can see a complete butterfly. Oh really? I would love to make a butterfly. Can you teach me? Sure. Go get a new drawing sheet. But this time you should tell me what to do. I will just help you. Okay. First, I have to fold the sheet down the middle. Now, I have to paint the butterfly on one side of the sheet. You are right. You can use two or three colors and some color for the background too. You will get a very colorful painting. Okay, Buzz. Next, fold the paper again and press it down nicely by moving your hand all over the sheet. And bingo! Your painting is ready. Good job, Amber. The painting is beautiful. If you observe Amber, both the halves are identical. Hey Buzz, thank you for teaching me this brilliant idea of painting. You are welcome, Amber. How is it possible? We applied paint on the paper, folded the paper into half and moved our hands on it. Then we opened the paper. How did the paint come on the other side exactly the same way? The design on both the sides was the same. Hmm. Buzz said that this was magic. Hey, Fairy will definitely tell me about this magic. Hello, Fairy. Hello, Amber. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hey, Amber. What's that in your hand? This is my new painting. Buzz taught me a new method to paint. Wow, that's great. You know, Fairy, we put paint. on one side of the page but i don't understand how was it possible 
we applied paint on one side of the paper and moved our hands over it and when we opened the paper how did the paint come on the other side exactly the same way and bus said it was some magic hmm this magic is called symmetry symmetry i'll explain it to you here you can see half of the image on the paper and exactly the other half on the mirror similarly when we fold the paper into half we get the exact design on the other half a line that divides an object in two equal parts is called the line of symmetry but fairy what does symmetry mean a figure is symmetrical when it can be divided into two equal halves for example the butterfly now check your painting here both the halves are symmetrical that is they are same so when you place one half on the other half they get placed exactly one above the other amber you need to remember that there are different types of line of symmetry let's see them one by one an object can have vertical line of symmetry horizontal line of symmetry or diagonal line of symmetry now let's consider some examples a fish has a horizontal line of symmetry a trophy has a vertical line of symmetry some shapes like a star have multiple lines of symmetry a star has a vertical and a diagonal line of symmetry so there are five lines of symmetry and shapes like a rectangle also have multiple lines of symmetry it has a vertical and a horizontal line of symmetry so it has two lines of symmetry some objects have no line of symmetry that is the shape cannot be divided into equal halves for example this irregular shape has no line of symmetry look fairy there's a kite stuck on that tree hmm can you tell me how many lines of symmetry this kite will have oh yes it has one line of symmetry that is vertical line of symmetry brilliant what about a sandwich and an apple the sandwich will have a diagonal line of symmetry and an apple has vertical line of symmetry amber you have become a genius thanks fairy Amber, now let's play a game. I'll draw half of a picture and you will have to draw the other half to complete the picture. Okay, fairy. This is going to be exciting. Can you guess, Amber? What have I drawn? Well, I think it's a pot. Good, Amber. Will you complete this picture? I would love to. Now, tell me what is this? I know this. It is a heart shape. Wow! Amber, that is really very good. And now, the last one. And what about this? <laughs> this looks like buzz. It's a honey bee. 
Now let me check if you can get this one. This looks a bit difficult. Okay, I give up. Oh, this is amazing, fairy. You mean even letters have symmetry? Yes, Amber. Letters and numbers, just like many natural objects, have a line of symmetry. You only have to imagine it, and you will be able to see it. So, the alphabet A has vertical line of symmetry. Now guess this. I know this. It's the alphabet B. And it has horizontal line of symmetry. Now, let's check some numbers. Can you guess this number? Mm, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll tell you. This is number 8. And it has both vertical and horizontal symmetry. Are you ready to try something more challenging? Sure, fairy. Can you guess the words written here? Hmm. Mm, I think the first word is tomato. And the second word is bite. Brilliant! You are right. Thanks, fairy. I had a great time today. Thanks for teaching me so many things. Oh, you are welcome, Amber. You are a bright kid. That was a magical experience, right? Let me share with you some of the things that I have learned today. A line of symmetry divides a figure into two halves that are the mirror images of each other. An object is symmetrical when you can divide it into equal halves. Symmetrical halves are exactly same. So you can exactly place one half on the other half. There are different types of lines of symmetry. They are as follows. Vertical line of symmetry, horizontal line of symmetry, diagonal line of symmetry. Alphabets and numbers can also be symmetrical.